Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube. It's obviously been a minute. I've been off YouTube for a while. Um, I just think sometimes you just need to take a break. But anyway, I'm back. So if you're new here, please do hit the subscribe button, switch your notifications, and make sure to follow me and check out my videos, of course. So today I'm going to be talking about mineral sunscreens for dark skin. Now, interesting enough, someone said, I'm not dark skin. I think I do. We could go into a whole discussion about how we define dark skin, but to be honest, I really don't care. So this is about mineral sunscreens, which work for dark skin. Now, I think personally, I've used mineral sunscreens more so because one, you know, skincare, two, because I'm always kind of looking for like an alternative to what I already have. But I will just say that if it came down to what I prefer out of chemical and mineral sunscreens, it's definitely chemical sunscreens because what I found is with the exception of one mineral sunscreen, which I'm going to show you guys today, a lot of mineral sunscreens, you really have to rub them in. Now, this is problematic for two reasons in regards to myself. One, I'm lazy. I don't have time for all of the... Do you know what I mean? I, I just don't have time for all of that rubbing. But secondly, sometimes, especially like when I shave, my skin is already, already sensitive, already feels aggravated. And you know, just that additional rubbing, all of that friction just tends to make my skin flare up. So personally for me, that's why I don't like it. However, I'm aware that some of the reasons, for some reasons, <clears throat> sorry, I'm aware that, you know, some people, um, cannot use chemical sunscreens, whether it do be due to the fact that, you know, they have allergies or reactions or, you know, personally, they just don't like it. So, for example, a lot of chemical sunscreens really do tend to hurt your eyes. Again, I don't have that issue. I think my eyes are like Superman. Um, <laughs> so I can absolutely get away with it. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get into them. So I'm going to do an order of what I think is the best to, like, not like what's not the best but you know what could has a room for improvement so the first one is from b skincare so b skincare is a brand um by a black woman in london and this sunscreen is absolutely phenomenal the first time um, and I say this about majority of my products, I actually bought it myself. I've actually just recently bought a new one. And um, this is the SPF 50, the one that I originally bought was their 30. Um, and I'm just gonna put a video up there so you guys can see me applying it. It is really light, it rubs into your skin easily. The main ingredient that's being used is zinc oxide. This video, as you can see, um, is when I have hair. So this is about like almost a year ago. So that's how long that I've been riding with this. And you know, it's 100 mil, right? Um, so it's actually quite big. I like its packaging. It's very, very simple, right? Um, and you know, it also has like other additional ingredients in it. Like I said, the main kind of ingredient when we're talking about like blocking, um, <laughs> the damage from the sun is zinc oxide, but it also has aloe vera, alpha butin. So I think all around, this is probably the best mineral sunscreen I have ever used. Um, and I definitely recommend people check it out. Again, if you want more information about it, I've done something on my Instagram, as well as something on my TikTok as well, you know, connect to the video, which I just showed you guys like a minute ago. So be sunscreen. There is a SPF 30 and an SPF 50 version. And of course, I believe you can get a smaller size. Don't quote me um, on that. I don't know, you may get to the website and see something completely different, but yeah, I'll put the links and everything down below. Next sunscreen on the list is the Murad sunscreen. Now, the thing is, you guys know I talk about Murad all the time. I think Murad is phenomenal, science fact, and I think they just don't overpromise. Their products are efficient and they don't say, oh my God, we're gonna do da 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 da. They're just like, boom, this is science fact. It works well for skin, that's it. Um, and I was actually quite cautious with this one. Again, there's a video there of me applying it. Now I will say that this one does take longer to rub in. And this is the point that I'm making that maybe if you have sensitive skin or skin that's adverse to, you know, excessive friction, you may not necessarily want to use this, but this is good for black skin. It is a bit high on, in terms of price point. I do believe it's about 55 pound and this is 50 milliliters. So, you know, 
considering how much you want reapply, you may not necessarily think that it's the most affordable option. But in terms of actually a mineral sunscreen that works well for dark skin, this is certainly number two on my list. As I said, you know, I've shown you guys the video. I'll put a link to where I've discussed it on my TikTok and Instagram, just in case if you're someone who needs more of them um, to read rather than listen to me talk kind of thing. So this is the Murad, and I think it's, yeah, it's full name is City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50 PA++++. So this is giving you both UVB and UVA protection, similar to the B um, skincare sunscreen as well. So I always say this to people, if your sunscreen is not giving you both UVB and UVA, there's no point um, in buying it. And the last mineral sunscreen is called Kinship. Now, this was actually gifted to me by Glow by Ramon, and this was gifted to me about a year ago. I actually kept on the back burner because, like I said, my preference is for chemical sunscreens. If I ever talk about mineral sunscreens, it's because I want to raise awareness of them. And since I've already opened it, I just continue to use it until I finish it. Now, this one actually shocked me because with mineral sunscreens, I'm not going to lie, a lot of people have given me stuff and they've said, oh yeah, like, I think it works with dark skin. And then I try and I'm like, looking like Casper the ghost, which is hella annoying. But this one actually came through and in the videos, you can see I've actually put more than what's needed. Now, the thing is, I'm actually wearing it today, by the way, if you can see, and I've like reapplied. And what I like about it, similar to all those sunscreens which I talk about, is that it's not greasy, it's somewhat mattifying, and I've reapplied it twice during the day. I would say like it took a bit of effort to get, you know, the residue out of like my facial hair and my eyebrows and a bit of my hairline. But aside from that, it's perfectly fine. Now, the only thing about this is that it's not available in the UK. So if you're in America, it's a win for you. Unfortunately, if you're in the UK, it's not. I'll try to have a look and see if there are any websites which deliver it to the UK, but definitely one to watch. Um, my only concern about this one is that on the description, they say that it kind of supports a healthy skin barrier. Now, obviously, I've not been using it long enough to be able to say if it doesn't or not. But, you know, I wouldn't, when buying the sunscreen, just go for that reason. So like I said, with all of the other sunscreens as well, they have all of these added, it does X. But really, it's just about finding the sunscreen, which you know that you'll use daily, You'll reapply if needed and it works for you. So not really a concern, but just more of a no. So guys, those are all three sunscreens that you've seen. I've included a video which kind of demonstrates it. Please let me know if you've used any of them or any questions or feedback that you may have. Um, and yeah, make sure to wear your sunscreen, especially if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation. I can't tell you guys, you do not get rid of dark spots, yeah? without wearing sunscreen. You know, sun exposure is a cause of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So, you know, just cut yourself, make your life easy, right? And just use it. So anyway, thank you for watching and please do make sure to hit the subscribe button, switch on your notifications and watch the rest of my videos.